Hey guys, John here. Today we're in the Profit 5V and I'm gonna share something that I found in the manual that I think everybody should know. So in today's video, we're gonna be making this. Hopefully a sound that all of you should know and behind my drum loop. Okay, so let's get started here. It's not too difficult here. So I have another profit here on a blank presets here. So let's go to file new preset. And for this one, we're gonna be using both of the oscillators here. So the mix on the first one's kind of fine by default. And I put the second one all the way up. And both of these are gonna be up one octave and we're gonna be using square weight or uh, yeah, saw weights for both of these, Jesus Christ. So up one octave, so plus 12 semitone. So we have something kind of like this. And we don't really have to change any of the tuning here. So here's kind of where the magic happens. So first thing, we're gonna be in a tempo of 116. So now we gotta have to go here to the arpeggiator and kind of make this whole thing happen. So we wanna turn this on here and then we wanna go sync and then we wanna go obviously sync right here and then change the rate to one over 16. So you have something like that. And then on the arpeggiator, we have to go to up down. So hit the U slash D. So we have something kind of like that. And then now here in the repeat, let's select this here. And on the repeat, let's go to two. And then this is very important here on the gate. Let's bring this down to about 50 or maybe just a little bit below 50, something kind of like that. And then take a listen to that. So we're pretty close already. So it's actually pretty quick to make here. So keep in mind, the notes that you have to press are gonna be the root note, the fifth, and then an octave above that. So basically a power chord, right? So octave, fifth, and then the octave above that. Not the octave above the fifth, but like, you know what I'm saying. Okay, so we have something kind of like this here. Now what we can do is play a little bit with our filter and kind of get something kind of going here. So let's kind of play with that. So that's kind of close right there. We also want to play with our amplifiers or bring our sustain all the way down. And the original sounds pretty quick. It's a pretty fast gate. So we can always adjust this here with the decay as well. So sustain all the way down on the amplifier and then on the decay, let's kind of bring that down to taste here. And this is kind of something just kind of matching and listening to the original. Obviously I can't play the original on here because I don't own that song and I'll get in trouble for it. So I'm kind of just going on the last time I heard it. So probably something similar. Okay, so that's most of the part here. Let's bring up the volume just a little bit as well. And that's what's cool about the Prophet. It's a very snappy envelope. It's kind of really nice for this type of sound here. So now let's go to our advance here and our advance on the original one. So all I really did was just add a little bit of chorus, some delay and some reverb, and that's pretty much all you really need, right? So let's go ahead and go to our effects and we have a chorus already set up for us, which is kind of nice. And we just really need a little bit. And then instead of reverb here on the second one, we're gonna change this out for a delay and then we're going to click on time and then sync this. And then we can go maybe one over eight, something kind of like that. But obviously bringing this down. And then maybe bring down the low pass. I pass maybe a little bit. We probably not going down that low, but just in case. Hitting the wrong note. There we go. And then a little bit of reverb to kind of tie things in here. So let's add some reverb and we don't really need that much here. Let's bring this down and then maybe also bring down the input low pass. So pretty close. And like I said before, it's kind of like you have to listen to the song and say, okay, if it's a little bit more bright, you know, maybe bring down your cutoff or something like that, or maybe add or reduce a little bit of resonance, something kind of like that. You might not even need that much resonance, if any at all. Maybe a little bit of the envelope. Yeah, but it's really that simple. It's really not complicated at all. I'm still gonna put the patch up for free if you would like to download it, but it's pretty self-explanatory. I thought that was really cool in the manual when I was reading that. I'm like, you know what? I think everybody should know how to do that because it's a cool melody and it's actually relatively easy to make and the Private 5 sounds pretty freaking good. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I know this was a quick one, but hopefully it brought you some value into your life. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something and we'll see you in the next video.